Hi and welcome to my playhouse and I did a video where I was messing with a power supply in an IBM X3950 X3 server it's a quad CPU dual core 6 no 2.667 gigahertz and it had a bad power supply so I got a new one so uh, let's go to the table and see what I got from Germany so if you're following me over at Google Plus you will already have seen this but this came from Germany and it was shipped to me and and it cost exactly what I showed on the last video 46.89 euros that's a lot of money for a old used power supply well well I just wanted to try and fix this so no matter what it costs we're going to try that so well there's not much else in here so let's see one power supply and yeah it's Oh, it's a dirty finger on that. It's a 300 watt power supply. It can deliver 106.5 amp of 12 volt current. So this could probably start my car. I might keep one around to um, be used as an auto starter. That's kind of awesome. But well, let's go try and plug this in and see if uh, it behaves any better than the old one. So here is the server and it's still complaining so nothing has changed there we can check the math light path diagnostics here and it's still complaining about no redundancy so well it hasn't fixed itself the power supply up here is not lighting up right now so but that's probably just because uh, the server has not realized yet that the power supply is not very good so uh, I got a lot of complaints that this server would not be able to be maintenanced because you had to take out the server to change the power supply. So I'm gonna try that. I do believe that I'm able to take out the server and exchange the power supply without turning it off. It should be hot pluggable. First we take it out. I can remove this piece of metal. and roll out the shiver. It's like that. So even if there were servers on top of it, that would be possible. And I can open this. Uh, maybe I can. Yeah. Oh, maybe we should power it on first. That would probably be good. We'll power it on. Now it's running. I just picked up the power supply from the living room and I've been I've written something on it so that if I um, mix them around I can still remember that this one was the new one that I got. So let's take the cover off now. Up here on the cover there is an important thing. It seems that this one is power supply number one. And the one over here is power supply number two. And power supply number two was the one that was failing. So uh, the one closest to the PCI ports, that's the one we need to change. There is actually a couple of LEDs on the power supplies here. This one seems to be good at AC and DC. And over here, this one says that it's only green on AC and the DC is not green. So. Uh, this becomes easier and easier so that's the faulty one so we should be able to unplug it from on the on the back here unplug that there and now neither is good both lights are out here so let's remove that like that and here is the the replacement there. Plop that in. There. And we'll give it some power to manage that. There. And if 
powered up the second power supply. Cool. And on the front here. Everything is good to go. Awesome. And the server is it's kind of powering down. Uh, with one bad power supply it makes a lot more noise. It uh, takes that into account. So let's close the server up again. Okay, the server is up and running again and I've plugged on the screen, I had to go around the back and put in some more cables. I do not have cable arms on my servers here. I just don't have enough room for it back there, so it's a bit more hassle, but I did extend the power cables just so that I could show you that it was doable with the servers not losing power at any point, but, and it did not, so that was awesome. A lot of you suggested that I should take the power supply apart and it was just a bad cap. And I totally agree, it's probably just a bad cap in their capacitor, right? And um, But I, I wanted to show you what is normally done in a data center. Because in a data center you don't take a power supply out and try and repair it. You take a power supply out and you exchange it with something else. Normally it's a new spare part. I'm such a cheap ass, so I went ahead and I got a used one, but well, you don't go um, fixing power supplies in a data, in a real data center, you don't, so that was why I bought this one and didn't bother trying to fix it. Um, now I might actually go down and see if I can see anything. I don't think I can see a bad capacitor, I just think it's bad enough so that it's making, it's faulty. So. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, to pinpoint it. I don't think it has popped or anything. It's just became bad over time. So it's probably not visible in any way. Okay, down here in the basement, we're gonna try and take this apart. I'm just gonna remove all the screws that I can find on it. See if it won't pop open on that one. Top comes off, and here are the power supply insides. Mm. It's of course very good quality. Um, there is not that many capacitors, so it might be easier to uh, to find if something is bad here. Um, but I want to take it a little bit more apart. And I see there is more screws. That's a really high-tech power supply. Look at all the electronics to maintain that. Holy, that was not meant to come apart. Um, there's not many caps in it, so um, not really many caps to break. There is the four caps here, which looks like the caps that would actually be worn down that's some fairly big ones but more or less that's the biggest caps there oh sorry there is some very big caps under this tape I didn't see that they have even protected them so that they wouldn't blow up okay. that might be the caps that would give up after 10 years of use but they haven't really given up in any explosive way. It's much easier if they just let out the smoke and 
leave a smoke trail then you know what broke wonder how big they are with my suspicion on that these caps might have been worn out um, I'm gonna try and take one or both of them out and see if they're if they're up to specs there are 400 volts 450 volts this one is 470 microfarad and this one is the same voltage 450 volts 390 microfarads so I'm gonna desolder I think I'll start with the big one see if that's still good if it is I'll go on to the next one smaller one and see if that's still good okay here is the beefy capacitor 450 volts 470 microfarad I have a full multimeter here and it does actually measure capacity but it doesn't go high enough so I have been up borrowing my cousin's LCR meter and this should be able to measure capacity uh, I don't know how to use this but well he tried to explain it to me and used five minutes on explaining how to do this best and then he reached to the auto mode which I'm just gonna be using because the other things was really complicated auto so let's see what it says it says that here is 446 microfarad that's not far from so that should be good there's probably nothing wrong with with this one let's try the other one well the other one just popped out and i am lying through my teeth these just don't pop out they're really well mounted and this is why you sometimes in a professional environment don't fix a power supply like this i have already used uh, more time on this power supply than a new one um, no not a new one but the used one that i exchanged would have cost i wasted that in time just taking this apart which was a hassle and taking out these two capacitors so far so nothing is nothing is earned except i don't um, pay for my own time here so i borrowed this meter from my cousin and he said that i should make sure to to short circuit the capacitors because the input protection of this thing was questionable so let's see what this says 331 microfarads and it should be 390 microfarads so the combination of the two capacitors being below spec both of them might be the reason why this is um, now complaining about the 12 volts that might be a thing hmm well yeah if you play with this at home it might be worth it to try and exchange this this one is at least over 10 percent under specs that one was under specs as well a little less though um but well nobody has these in stock like I don't have those laying around anywhere. I have something that looks like it. Some big beefy things here, but well, it is capacitors, but they didn't bother to write on them what these are. And there are only 250 volts thingies. And that's the closest thing I get. I don't have anything this beefy otherwise. I would have to go order these in an electronic component shop, wait for it to arrive, exchange it, put the power supply fully back again, which is a pain in the butt to say the least, and go out and try it in the server and cross my fingers, hope for the best. Probably not it. Take it out, take it apart, find something else to exchange and try again. Server is up and running again. The old power supply I took apart and I might have found the cause of it. I'm not gonna be trying to fix it. It's just not worth it for 45 euros. Nah, it's not worth it so I can get an if I needed one I could get another power supply for the actually I found it cheaper right after I ordered it last time so I was kind of a bit too fast on the trigger there but I hope you got something out of this even though the old power supply is just gonna be um, spare parts 
and spare parts are always good to have laying around so next time I might find a good part to put in somewhere so well thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again doing different stuff like pressing keys and stuff like that so have a really nice day bye bye